I guess it's happened to all of us for sending video or photos to a friend over email and we get this error message, file too big. Uh, email services generally only give us 10 to 25 megabytes of space that we can send in an email. That's a problem, especially if you're dealing with photos and videos. But there's a workaround and one of my favorites is called Dropbox. I'm going to show you how to use it, but wait, if you think this is going to be too difficult to wrap your head around, give me a minute, I'll show you how it's easier than email. Dropbox is like a big old toy box in the sky. You put things in to store them and you can let other people take them out. And when you open your Dropbox, you'll see folders. Create the ones you want, say for photos, videos, or an event like our wedding. But putting a file on your computer into your Dropbox is a real drag. No, literally a drag. See, watch. Let's take these photos of some nature shots. This is my computer. I'm going to left click, drag, and then I'm going to drag them over to my Dropbox and drop them in. And that's it. You've done it. Well, actually, I did it, but... Now, let's say you want to share a lot of photos. Sending them by email would be a big hassle, but not in Dropbox. I have over 700 photos from a wedding on my computer. After I add them to my Dropbox and then our wedding folder, I can share all of those pictures with just a couple of clicks. Copy and paste the Dropbox link and then email it. You don't have to do that for each individual photo, just for that one folder. When they get your email, they'll have a link to the Dropbox where they can download all 707 photos. Easy to use and simply one of the most useful programs I've found. If you'd like more information, you can follow me on Twitter at Jamie Tucker. I have a link there so you can download Dropbox for yourself. I'm Jamie Tucker, Nashville's News 2.